Hello, this is Vance, and this is Tuesday, September the 16th, 2014. And these are the CL trades for today using the slow hand method for price action. Overnight high, 92.97. Overnight low, 92.46. And so uh, price really had a nice run-up yesterday. I mean, I talked about it yesterday in the overnight. I mean, we was looking at uh, pretty much from the over. We had the opening price was yesterday at uh, 92.21, I guess it was. Price traded all the way down to uh, 90.62. And then basically we had... Uh, you know, a trend up day yesterday. Now we're at the top of that range or close to the top of that range. Uh, yesterday, the uh, the high was 93.03, and it just touched that yesterday, late yesterday afternoon at 3, just after 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and really didn't get any higher than that. So we're talking about 93 is like, it looks like it's the area in which uh, where there's some resistance. So price did trade down from the overnight at first. I mean, the first overnight low was 92.55, trades back up. Resistance at 92.96, trades back down. So now we're at the bottom end of this range. So you can see that we've had uh, uh, traded down here, moved up, traded down here. Now we're at this bottom area again. It looks like we have a little bit of capitulation. Uh, and this looks like maybe a developing second entry long. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, right now it's just at 8.30. Whether or not price comes and reels all down this, uh, continues on down to uh, take up some of the gains that were made yesterday because this was just kind of maybe an a, a emotional trend up uh, or whether it's just a uh, just a somewhat of a pullback to maybe retest the other side. We'll have to just wait and see. But uh, uh, at this point in time, we've had a, we had a short-term trend channel here. And this is, you can see, this is a pretty tight trading range. And we're talking 15 ticks from the top is uh, you know like like I said 90, 92 97 to the bottom is uh, 92 46 so it's not a real you know we're talking 40 uh, 41 ticks it's not a tremendously wide range uh, you know anywhere 10 to 30 ticks is pretty tight but uh, as you can see this move up move back down if you look at the most touches most touches are really across at uh, 92 85 so if that's the case 92 85 we said most touches right across here. Um, 925, which is closer to the open, and the both 9246, we're looking at less than uh, you know, like just 40, uh, uh, 42 ticks, as opposed to uh, 36, 39 ticks. I mean, yeah. Anyway, uh, so it's a pretty tight range, regardless of what you're, what we're, which way we're kind of trying to figure out where it is. Uh, relatively tight for the CL, so if we're, we're going to come back and test this other area, is it going to find support down here, move up, or are we going to continue to sell off uh, given the uh, flatness of the EMA at this point in time? Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, just a real quick update, uh, quick pre-market where I'm looking at uh, where I'm looking at uh, where I think price is going to be heading. I mean, I guess I might test up here or it might continue to fall off. I'll look for the price action and go from there. Uh, anyways, that's it for now. This is Vance. Bye for now.